This episode is just going to be a quick and general recommendation because there's a recently concluded genre show that I don't think got the attention it deserved. That show is Mr. Mercedes, which is based on the Stephen King novel of the same name. I figured since we're in the middle of the Stephen King renaissance, this deserves some love as well. Mr. Mercedes probably flew under a lot of radars because it's exclusive to DirecTV or AT&T or whatever that company is now, airing on their audience network channel. Now that it's concluded, I hope it makes its way to home video quickly because it's terrific and more people need to see it. Mr. Mercedes takes place in a small Ohio town and is the tale of a cat and mouse battle between a mass murderer and the detective who couldn't solve the case before ultimately retiring from the force. The killer starts taunting the retired detective and interjecting himself into his personal life, trying to get the detective to kill himself, which results in unfortunate collateral damage for many others in town. This is another one of those shows you can point to and say, yep, television is surpassing the quality of movies, because this is fantastic storytelling that gets plenty of room to play out. It's not a show about big surprises or insane plot twists, it's just an intense psychological duel with plenty of grotesque, funny, creepy, touching, and disturbing moments. And yeah, this show isn't for everyone. This isn't a blanket recommendation. There are some very hard to watch moments over the course of the show, which is very much a cable series. Little is left to the imagination here, and some people are going to have justifiable problems with some of the content. The showrunner is David E. Kelly, and Lost director Jack Bender helms many of the season's episodes, so there's quality abound with this one. And the cast is just so spot on. Brendan Gleeson is perfect as Detective Bill Hodges, and they even let him keep his Irish accent. Also, if you're a fan of quality soundtracks, this show has a top-notch musical supervisor. You won't be hearing the same box of records you hear in everything else these days. Right before the final episode aired, it was announced that Mr. Mercedes had been renewed for a second season, but don't worry, they don't fuck this up like they did, say, Under the Dome. There's a definitive ending to this particular story, and future seasons should hopefully be based on the other books in this series that feature Detective Bill Hodges. If you're a fan of really good Stephen King adaptations, Mr. Mercedes is right up near the top of the list. If you have DirecTV, get yourself over to the on-demand section, but if not, grab this the second it hits home video. I highly recommend it. 